Hi, good evening everybody. Thanks for joining with me today. My name is Dharam Padaya. I'm presenting about the great recession. So let's let's talk about recession. What is recession? So normally a recession is a macroeconomic terminology. It refers to the economic condition. If there is negative impact in the economy. If there is economic downgrade, then it will be considered as a economic recession. There may be so many causes of the economic recession. However, it impacts many areas, like it impacts their jobs, healthcare, people living, their income, and so many other things, education as well. Similarly, there was a great recession during the period of 2007, 2008, and even 2009 as well in the U.S. It was, it was lasted for, uh, you know, uh, two, uh, two and a half years in the United States uh, as well. So let's talk about, you know, economic recession of 2007 and the eight. Actually, it lasted for two, two, 2009 at the end. So. The economic recession of 2007 caused by many factors. So some of those factors are uh, shortage of the mortgage and the secure loans, deregulation in the financial industry. So financial industry moves uh, you know, up and down and threat of resource drops the interest. So uh, reserve bank drops in the interest rates as well. And that's what called like you know uh, adjustable interest rate and the uh, the balloon payment balloon, balloon payment is normally like you know in the mortgage company uh, at the end of the uh, ending period of the mortgage then you know the mortgage company will ask to pay the like you know bulk money that is called the uh, balloon payment and similarly bank demanded the more mortgages and you know permits banks to engage in the hedge fund trading and you know different economists have a different opinion about like you know what it really caused uh, but in a very simple word uh, the economic recession of 2007 you know caused by the mortgage fund bank gave the money to uh, even non-qualified people semi-qualified people or like you know or qualified people bank started to do the, a lot of the investment in the mortgage and then bank become a short of the fund and that's the reason uh, the economic re uh, recession of 2007 if you so behind the scene there are so many stories of it you know why it happened all of a sudden uh, so let's let's talk in, in our up upcoming slide as well so let's talk some uh, sort of the eight financial policy and the procedure uh, that is relevant to uh, economic recession so one of the eight is depression air riot uh, you know in 1933 so this act is about in a simple word this act is about following banks or financial organization or institutions work with some other organization as well so that they will become so big they will consume so much of the money so that they cannot fail in case if they fail then fail everything that's what it happened in 2007 bank covered almost all the financial areas and then the later on banks fell and then it impacted everywhere in, impacted in the health impacted in in the financial sector education you know people's living gdp supply everywhere and then similarly securities and exchange commission uh, this is more about you know uh, encourage the banking and the financial organizations uh, uh, you know to invest the money more into uh, like uh, MBS uh, it, that resulted actually so when the bank started to invest into the MBS then bank made the enormous profit and uh, and that is also one reason that you know bank portfolio is become more risky uh, and then similarly after 2008 after the economic 
musician. There are some of the internal log game and some of those uh, that I put over here like you know don't strike that. So this is more about you know gathering existing rule and regulation and then the refining them. You know what is those uh, you know rule and regulation uh, makes sense in the current aspect and then if they are not helping uh, then just to you know rebuild it refine and rebuild those and make in a in an appropriate way so that it can help you know more American consumers also and then similarly there's another uh, act is housing and economy recovery act of 2008 it's, it, this act is more about you know restoring um, the, the financial or the mortgage uh, uh, status of the people in order to uh, 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 take their confidence level Actually, at that time, the U.S. government uh, helped almost like you know, 400,000 uh, homeowners and provided the insurance amount. Uh, that's why these are the couple of uh, economic act, acts related to um, before and after uh, economic recession of 2007. Let's talk about what is the real impact of the economic recession of 2007 it impacted everywhere uh, as I mentioned in my earlier templates earlier uh, you know slides even though the bank become sort of funds and then uh, and it it's somehow like even able to invest in the some other areas but it is impacted everywhere first thing it, it damaged the mortgage market economy become a decentralized or, or in other words some smart people made the money uh, because the house prices goes down and then they start to make the money as well similarly it created the unemployment issue uh, it, it created like you know lower income and the wages issue as well cost of containment and you know people started to go collect the fund as well like it, you know uh, avoiding like you know in the cost of the services lay of reduced hours as well there are so many uh, other issues and impacted areas uh, due to um, economic recession as well so the other things comes up is is there any possibilities of the economic recession yes there is always a possibility but how the existing economic or physical policies monetary policies are going on that is always the most important factor over here so as we saw that COVID-19 is impacting various areas of the economy really badly many bank sorry many small medium or large size of the business going to bankrupt bankruptcy people do not have a job high on unemployment and then that is increasing because government giving a stimulation check to the people and that is increasing uh, national debt as well so that is a, another big sign of um, economic recession so there is a there's a possibility that's why the government has to look on to how the money mobilization happening how how the market is going on and whether people are getting a getting job or not so government should focus on the job creation uh, um, uh, money centralization or like economic centralization as well so these are a the couple of things uh, that government has to focus on in order to avoid the economic recession uh, if government you know do not focus on those areas doesn't focus on those areas then uh, there is a high possibility that uh, some level of the economic recession may come uh, very soon So another thing, yes, that, that's another slide that I would like to talk about how we can avoid or how we can minimize the economic recession. So there are a couple of things uh, that you know I presented some slides like you know, if the government do this, then it can improve in this area. That way it can it can minimize it because if the government do things but if do not uh, you know impact the other areas, then it cannot really help. So here is deduction on the interest rate. Uh, increase on the government spending 
you know, the government uh, intervention of the financial sector, how the financial sector are doing, whether they are following the rule regulation or not. So these are the things has to, um, um, you know, monitors as well. And similarly, like, you know, higher uh, inflation target and a couple of things, you know, higher uh, wages as well, increase consumer spending. So these are a couple of things uh, that the government has to look on in order to avoid uh, the economic recession. So what are the possible policies to avoid the recession? What what the government can establish something like monetary policies that could you know uh, govern like the cutting interest rates, you know, quantitative uh, easing, helicopter money. Uh, there is a, like you know fiscal policies, uh, high inflation target, you know, financial stability as well. So there are a couple of things uh, that government put into a place in order to check and balance, uh, so that. Uh, um, you know, possible recession can be avoided also. So we are at the end. So again, uh, economic recession doesn't happen all of a sudden. There are many factors comes into a role to make it happen. So 2008, economic recession was more like a soft prime mortgage means like you know, the people who are not qualified or Underqualified still got the uh, you know loan and then the bank invested the money and bank become out of fund and then the later on the government come up with some sort of the rule and regulation regulation to avoid that uh, hence the government should think through this process in advance in order to avoid you know uh, the upcoming uh, economic recession as well so that's it for today uh, thanks for joining with me. And then please let me know if you have a question, uh, otherwise we are going to end this session. Thank you.